Hey guys, Kings Kiral here, back again with another video, and this is a Pixel ROM CAF edition. Many of you guys are asking me to make a review of this ROM. Here it is an in depth review of Pixel ROM CAF edition running on Poco Phone F1. So let's get started. We all know Pixel ROM is one of the most popular custom ROM available for innumerable Android devices. It brings a Google Pixel experience to your smartphones which includes live wallpapers, Pixel launcher, Pixel camera and more. This ROM has gained huge popularity at XDA. Recently we are seeing a Pixel ROM with a tag called CAF. Well before talking about features, performance and battery, I would like to give a high level overview of CAF. When Google releases a new version of Android, they let the source code available as a part of Android Open Source project. Google has a tremendous developer community which consistently improves the AOSP brand. Then the OEMs like Xiaomi, Samsung or any other manufacturers take this code as a base and start building their own flavor of Android. Take an example of Lineage OS. They take this AOSP root branch and add their own code to support a lot of devices. This modified code by Lineage OS can be used as a base and helps to build your own version of custom ROM. Then what about CAF? It stands for Code Aurora Forum. It's like an XDA but not for Flash Maniacs. This is the place where developers find the modified code by Qualcomm for further software development. Basically, AOSP root branch has a support for less devices. This is where Qualcomm plays a major role. Most of the Android smartphones are shipped with Qualcomm chipsets. Qualcomm takes this AOSP root branch and adds support for SOCs, ensuring that their processors can run a new version of Android as smooth as possible. This modified code is then given to the OEMs who uses a Qualcomm chipset and then they can build their own flavor of Android. Technically, Qualcomm releases this modified code at CAF, again, Code Aurora Forum. This modified code by Qualcomm is a big deal for developers. It contains all of the latest drivers, libraries, which improves overall performance and stability. Developers can then use the CAF, a modified AOSP branch by Qualcomm, as a base and per their own version of custom ROM. So, CAF-based custom ROMs are more optimized and performs better than the normal AOSP-based. ROMs. Now let's talk about the features of the CAF Edition Pixel ROM. When it comes to the features, you will get all of the Pixel goodies which include Pixel Launcher, Live Wallpapers, Pixel Camera and more. One of the biggest assets of this ROM is the Dark Mode. Now it works throughout the system, you can enable the Dark Mode from Settings, Display, Device Theme and choose a Dark option. Once you have done, you can see the entire system UI adopts the Dark Mode. The notifications are also turned into the Dark which actually looks amazing and it is really useful during night times. You can also enable the dark mode from quick tile section, simply a tap on the battery saver icon and that's it, it will trigger the dark mode and improves the battery life. A part of the UI features, normal things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, LTE, LTE, fingerprints, IR cameras, face unlock, UPI applications, yes it does work fine without any issues. So anyway, moving on to the performance. Uh, the Pixel ROM CAF Edition handles everything without any hiccups. All of your applications and games opens up faster. Like the normal Pixel ROM, CAF is better smooth. The transitions are so fast and smooth. But when it comes to playing big games like PUBG or Asphalt 9 Legends, the Pixel ROM CAF Edition lacks a lot. There are huge frame drops and you may encounter while driving a vehicle within the game. I'm really baffled that the problem with this ROM or the PUBG itself and I believe the latest update of the game has a serious frame drop issues. So anyway, this happens only if you play at HDR mode. Overall, I would say the gaming performance is not impressive. So as usual, I ran a benchmarking applications like Antutu and Geekbench and these are the scores which I got on my Poco F1. When it comes to battery life, I normally get around a 4 plus hours of screen on time usage. For a fair and minimal usage, you will easily get around 6 plus hours. Lastly, I want to say one thing, the battery drains up much faster when you play big games like PUBG and Asphalt 9 Legends. Also I have noticed fast charging is not working properly, it takes a lot of time to charge the device. 
Overall, I would say the battery life is okay, not great when you compare with a normal Pixel ROM. So the bottom line of the video, keep in mind this is the second build of the Pixel ROM CAF edition. It takes some time to work much better. As of now, I really don't want to install CAF edition on my Pocophone F1. So if you are using a normal Pixel ROM, then stay with it and don't need to upgrade. So anyway guys, that's pretty much about it and I just wanted to share an updated video of Pixel ROM. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe and consider clicking on bell button to get notified. So thanks for watching, this is KSKRL, I will catch you in my next video. Peace.